welcome back to the channel. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Yule, it is December 21st right now. I am feeling quite festive with my little elf hat and my my red lipstick. I also have some little, little reindeer earrings. These are from uh, Love Kills Boutique. I'll leave their link in the description box below. They have some of the cutest earrings ever. I have, if you haven't noticed, I have my ears gauged. So they have gauges with little dangly earrings on them, little, little Rudolphs today. But they also make some regular earrings too for anybody who doesn't have gauged ears. But that'll be in the description box below. I will leave that down there. Um, but today we have Sacred Iseum. So Sacred Iseum sends their boxes pretty late in the month, which I don't particularly like. I would love to have it earlier in the month so that I can prep and plan and, oh, I got hair caught. Um, potentially like use, like plan to use the stuff that I get. But it just so happens that it came to me on Yule, or the start of Yule. So without further ado, we'll just open this bad boy up. So it comes this nice brown box. We will open it up. I do get my Sacred Isium box through Crate Joy, so I don't know if it's packaged differently because of that or whatever, but that is what we are looking at right now. Same sticker on the inside. Oh, so cute, nice little touch. Now, I do remember the packaging of this being like so cute, I loved it. So we have our little <laughs> jingle bells there. So cute. Let's see what the theme of this box is. Oh, we also have our cards and everything in here. Some yellow paper. Let's see, so it says Yule Sabbat Celebration, Prosperous New Beginnings. So it says, Merry we meet. As we gather this month of December in celebration of Yule and the winter solstice, we turn our attention to solar energy and the birth of the sun god. The birth of the sun is a time of celebration and gatherings to feast with family and friends, loved ones, and neighbors. This is a time of giving and appreciation as the gods have provided for us, we provide for others. We feast on our harvest in faith that the gods will provide us, provide for us once more. Gratitude and appre appreciation fly high, fly high at Yule. As much as we love to give, it can create a financial setback from, for most. True story. Um, so this month we will tap into our solar energy while we celebrate Yule and welcome prosperity and abundance into our lives. Yes. <laughs> it is also a time to ensure our home is blessed and protected, warding off negativity and dark energies as we enter the coldest time of the year. Let's celebrate the return of the sun with the birth of the sun god, and may your prosperity grow as the days grow long. Each and every item has been cleansed and charged with pure love and light, so they, so they may come to you ready and accepting of your own vibrations. It brings us great joy to have the honor of providing these magical tools and supplies to help enhance your magical life. Below is a list of all the items in this month's collection. Have a very blessed Yule. Blessed be with love and light, Sacred Isium. Very cool, love it, love it, love it. So we're gonna put this aside so 
We don't know what's in the box. We have the paperwork. They, I think they, they always include a little like business card with everything that they sell on it. So that's always informational. They always include this little piece of parchment paper, nothing on it. I don't remember seeing anything last time that said why they do that, but, but you can always use more pieces of parchment paper. So I always keep them. Next is our little Oracle card. I think that's the, the back there. Very beautiful picture. So the thing says, let light in. Very cool. So I'll have to I'll have to read that a little later. Feel free to pause and read it for yourself. Very cute. I love it. I always love these cards. I find them like really inspirational. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. Beautiful as always. I love the little ribbon packaging. I just think that the ribbon is such a nice touch. I actually kept the the last ribbon from the November box. It had like a bunch of fall pumpkins on it. It was really cute. So I'll probably wind up keeping this. <laughs> and let's open it up here. We have some, ooh, what is this? It smells like a Christmas tree. Maybe it is a Christmas tree. Mm, smells wonderful. All right, so we have some pages here. Looks like it's information on Yule. So I will. As always, super cute imagery. The wording on this is very, very tiny. <laughs> so I will try to insert like a, a better scroll down of it, of, the, of these pages but I don't know if you're gonna be able to read it cause it is, this says celebrate Yule. It's very tiny writing. Very, very beautiful. This looks like a ritual, a the prosperity vessel. Very nice. Very cool, love it. I always love my, my paperwork, <laughs> my um, stuff to put in my Book of Shadows. All right, you guys, so somebody listened out there because I have a baggie. It says Prosperity, so this must be Prosperity Incense. It's labeled so I know what it is. I, I, I think I said in every video that I wish they all came in a little bag like this because it just makes it so much easier. It keeps it together and it's labeled so I know what it is and I just, I really prefer the, the bags. So there is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten incense sticks in here today. Let's sniff, see what it smells like. If I can get it out of the box or the bag. Ooh, very interesting smell. I don't think I've smelled anything quite like that. Mmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> we'll have to. I'll have to light it and see if I actually like it. I can't tell what it smells like though. So that is our incense there. We have. Ooh, what is this? This is very cool. Ooh. Okay. So my biggest complaint. <laughs> my biggest complaint about the last box I received from a Sacred Isium, the November box was I absolutely hated, hated the packaging of their oil. Cause it came in like a little vial with like just a cork stopper. And when I got it, there was oil all over the bag. It was like, it, it just, it didn't work for me. So here's their oil. It's in a glass bottle, like with a, a screw on lid. I love that. Can you see that beautifulness inside? Ugh, 
I love it so much. Prosperity oil. Let's smell it. I think that's a cinnamon stick in there. And a bay, it looks like a bay leaf. Mm, let's see what it smells like. Mmm. Little stopper in there. Oh, let's get some out. Mmm. Very floral. But like a a sweet floral. Sweet floral. Ooh. The more you rub it, the more the sweet aspect of it comes out. Oh God, that smells good. Mm, very, very good. Oh, I, I really, I really like that smell. Yeah, very, very good. And then it came with a little cinnamon stick and another one of those little, I feel like that's part of a tree, like part of a like a Christmas tree. <laughs> very nice, very, very nice. I love that they add those little touches in with the in with the oils. They did that with November's oil as well, but like I said, it leaked all over, so everything was soaked in the oil. But I love that. I love that they still put it in the bag just in case, but they got rid of the oils that didn't work, um, or the bottles that didn't work. The oils were great, the bottle didn't work. So I like that they changed that up. All right, so let's move on. So we have, which lo it looks like a little bay leaf. Little bay leaf there. Yeah, mm. I love I love the smell of bay leaves. I, lo I have like a bunch of bay leaves. I use them all the time. So I like that it came with a little bit more. We also have some jasmine flowers and then it's got a little description on the label there beautiful in magic practices it it divination love attract the soulmate wealth money and is great for charging quartz crystals ooh flowers to be stored in an airtight container in a dark place ooh good to know good to know airtight container in a dark place Mmm, smells so good. Very nice, I love it. All right, let's see. Ooh, what is this? Horse chestnut. Very cool. Read the label there, little focus. It says, in magic, it can make a powerful ingredient in money and healing spell work. Use in charms bags, grind down and use to dress candles, thought to bring financial luck when kept in your pocket. Ooh, I'm gonna have to keep one of these pieces in my pocket. <laughs> very cool, very nice. It's quite a bit in there too. I like to smell things, so let's smell it. Actually, I, I kind of like the smell of that. It smells really good. Ooh, 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 I am so excited. Okay, next we have cat's claw bark. That's what it looks like. Really nice amount in there, actually. It says, in magic, it is used for attraction, prosperity, protection, psychic powers, and money. Use in charm bags, grind down, and use to dress candles or burn on a charcoal on a charcoal disc or added to oils. Mmm, let's smell this guy. I think everything's starting to smell the same to me. Or I'm smelling that oil because I put it all over myself. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, I can't smell it. Yep, I, all I smell is the oil. All right, oops. Ooh, so this guy just kind of came out, little can you see that? Little potion bottle. It looks like it's actually meant for like a little necklace. 
So this is the little vial part. That's the, the cork there. It's got like a little hoop on it. Interesting, very cool. Ooh, I like that. Maybe we're supposed to, maybe that's part of the, the prosperity vessel spell. Very cool. We can only use a little bit of that in our lives. Next. Ooh, we have a little container here, nothing on it. undo the container. There is a little clothespin. Interesting. Curious. Very curious. I must know. <laughs> Very nice. And that's a pretty big size jar too. Looks like we might have another another one. Yeah, this one's round with a label on it. There's a little little baby clothespin in there, and a little bag with a ribbon. Nice gold ribbon. I'm intrigued. I am very intrigued. So we got a little mini potion bottle. For that seems like it's supposed to go on a necklace. We got two empty jars, but they have clothespins in them. I'm very intrigued. All right, we have two more items left. We have cinnamon. Oh, I can smell it. It's like cinnamon little chunkies. Very nice. Love it, I love it. Mm, I love the way cinnamon smells, oh God. It says, in magic, used for healing, protection, power, love, luck, money drawing, and more. Used in charm bags, candle dressing, coal burning, or any spell needing its attributes. Very nice. All right, so we got our last little, little guy here in our green little baggie. Open it up. Ooh, there's herbs in, it, in here. Ooh, it looks like lavender. Yeah, it's definitely lavender. Ooh, this is so pretty. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. That's my dog drinking out of her water bowl, by the way. That is so beautiful. I love that little tree of life action. Wow, very, very pretty, very pretty. Oh, I lied, we have a, a few more things in here. All right, so we have some green aventurine, uh, the stone of luck used in spells for money, peace, and healing. Wear this stone on jewelry pocket or in charms it use it to amplify your magical space during spells so they're like itty bitty babies little babies so cute i love it and then we have one more we have some flax seeds very nice all like pretty decent like amounts in here for sure some whole flax seeds it says, in magic, it may be used in money and healing spells, protection against hostile energies, and for divination powers. Use in charm bags, grind down, and use to dress candles. Very nice. Very cool. So this was, we got, we got quite a bit of, like, herbs in, in this one. I'm not sure what the empty jars are, but... Let's read everything and see what we got and then we'll go over the paperwork and see what we see what we come up with. All right, you guys, so I'm still kind of reading over the paperwork a little bit, but I did notice something that makes me really sad. <laughs> so 
as I'm going through one of the first items, it says the Yule Prosperity Candle. I didn't get a candle. Oh, I didn't get a candle. I got two jars, two, two jars with the, the, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, the, these things. I, I'm drawing a huge blank on what the heck they're called. I got two of those and I'm wondering if maybe they put two in, in my box by mistake when they only meant to give me one and then give me a candle on top. But I didn't get my Yule Prosperity candle. I'm really sad. I love my candles. Oh, that's such a shame. So I didn't get my candle, but I got two jars, so I guess I can't complain too much. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I read over the paperwork and I have um, no complaints. <laughs> It's pretty informational. It goes into detail about all of the herbs. And like I said, this paperwork is really repetitive because all the information's on the bags. So you, you can't really go wrong with that. So there's double time in case, you know, you're missing a label or something like that. It's, it's on the paperwork. Um, as for everything else, it, it gives you great detail on, on everything that's in here. Um, it's so sad because I was reading the information about the candle and it sounds so wonderful and uh, I wish I had I wish I had it but it's it's okay <laughs> we're not gonna cry over spilled milk so um, yeah I mean pretty self-explanatory I'm not gonna you know waste your time or my time trying to go into detail about every single thing in here but I am really excited about this one, you guys. I am really excited about this ritual. I love that, you know, basically the same ritual that you can use in the big jar, they are telling you to do the same thing for the little jar, that way you can carry that magic around with you. And I just think that's, I think that's really special. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to use everything. I didn't know that this was a smudge stick. So it's cinnamon, but they gave it to you because they want you to, to smudge with it. And I just think that's so, this and, and this guy, they're both for smudging. So I, I just, I'm so happy with this box. I love it to death and I have no complaints other than I didn't get my candle. <laughs> Other than that, you guys, I think I think that's everything. So I will, as always, go, I'll take a, a little shot of the paper so you can scroll down it, pause it if you want to read it and see what the paperwork has to say. All right, guys, so obviously there has been a little bit of an outfit change. It's actually because it's like a, like a week or two later or something like that. I think it's like a week or so later, but I... I received another package that I wasn't excited or <clears throat> I wasn't aware I was getting. Now, if you rewind to before, you will realize that I mentioned that I didn't get a prosperity candle in my sacred Isium box. And today I got a, a notification that I had a shipment at my local Amazon locker and uh, this was it. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's from Sacred Isium. So I opened it because I was like, what is this? I don't, I don't know what this is. And on the inside is this. <laughs> so basically I opened it up and I'm just going to go through this really quickly because it's, it's, it's not like the original sacred Isium box that I had gotten had so much in it. It was crazy. So this one says it's got the same like thing at the top here, like the same, the same like letter that they usually say. And then it says the, the magic within is it has prosperity incense sticks, the prosperity candle, the prosperity oil, Horse chestnut, cat's claw bark, green aventurine chips, 
green velveteen bag slash charm bag that's empty, which is something that we did not get in the first box. And then cut cinnamon and blank parchment paper. So the spell, they re-gave me the same spell, so it's the same spell. I'm just, I'm not, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know why I got the two boxes unless they recognize that they forgot the candle. But they wound up giving me a card, another card, another piece of parchment, some more, some more Christmas tree or fir, I think it's fir branch. This is the, I'm just going through this really quickly because I don't want it to, you know, I don't want to do a full unboxing again, but this is the empty green velvet charm bag. I got another bag of the Prosperity Incense that I, that I love a lot. I have another one of the Prosperity Oils, which again, I love this oil and it's still in the glass box with a screw or glass bottle with the screw on top instead of the the cork stopper we have the horse chestnut we have the green aventurine again sorry it's having a little bit of trouble focusing and the one thing that i did not get in my last box it this has oil all over it but the candle mm, so the this is the candle I love that they put their candles in the glass jar so you can see the color and everything on top. Oh, and it smells absolutely de delicious. So I'm actually like really excited that I got this box because it, it gave me the candle that I was lacking in the first one. I don't know if they sent this box to me because they realized that I didn't get the candle and they just figured, oh, whoops, our mistake. Let's give you some more of the of all this stuff or or what i have i have no idea the green cloth the tablecloth which i believe this is a different green than the last one i got in the last box so that's nice and then we have our cut cinnamon and i think that's it yeah so there wasn't much in this box i mean the last box that i got it had the jar in it and it had so much in there it had the necklace in it so i can't imagine that this is them sending me in a, another box because it didn't have nearly as much as the as the, the last one did i feel like this might just be like a oops sorry we forgot your candle type deal but i mean it was kind of nice that they they recognized that they did that and I finally got the candle I was looking for. So that's really awesome. I, I'm still really confused. I feel like I might contact them and, and figure out what happened. A ask them, you know, why I got a second box just, just to make sure. But as you can see, I never, I never contacted them. I never posted to them or I didn't even put, I didn't even get the chance to post my sacred Isium video until I think right now I don't think it's on my channel yet so if it if it if it's not then you're obviously gonna see part one of this in this video and then I'm gonna insert this clip at the very end I did actually because it's a few weeks later I did actually use my own green candle and I did the ritual for this and I gotta tell you, it's it's uh it, it was it was a good one. So <laughs> it worked it works really really well, and I find that my space and I myself and like uh like my sacred space and everything there was a lot of power going through it when I did this spell. So it was really it was really nice. I I really did like it. So I'm glad I got more stuff like all the herbs and stuff, so I can continue to do this and the, the little aventurine. I, am, I can continue to do this and now I can do it in a charm bag where I can carry it with me instead of just having it in the jar. So that's really nice, I like that a lot. So thank you to Sacred Isium for giving me the candle that I was missing. <laughs> 
and for giving me some extra stuff along the way. I really appreciate it. This is why I enjoy getting this subscription box because you know, they, they, they pay attention. Like I said, I was really excited to do that spell and it's, uh, it, it felt very powerful doing it. So I'm very excited. So thank you to Sacred Isium. I can't wait to reach out to them and let them know or ask them like what's going on. <laughs> Cut back to past Shannon. <laughs> um, but other than that, I think that's it. Don't forget to follow me on social media, you guys. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, Facebook is facebook.com slash karmas a witch official. Twitter is karmas underscore a underscore witch. And Instagram is karmas dot a dot witch. So follow me on there. I tend to do a lot of video announcements and, and check-ins and things like that. I'm mainly active on like Twitter and Instagram, but I do check in with Facebook every now and again. So start at Instagram and work your way down. <laughs> Make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I, I see all the lurkers out there. There's still some lurkers out there. So stop your lurking and stick around and be a part of the Karma Fam. And, uh, yeah, stick around to see what I have next for you, and I think that's it. Bye, you guys. Enjoy your holiday. Happy Yule. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah to anyone and everyone out there. <laughs> Whatever holiday you so choose. Happy New Year. We're going to be a part of the Roaring Twenties again, you guys. Ah! so exciting <laughs> entering another decade so enjoy it have fun be safe and spend time with your family bye